The quest of our fund-seeking team was to discover some of the fundamentals of fun from looking around in the city, following our cue cards. And uh, our finding, our, our large finding, was that risk-taking uh, and reward are, and, and a sort of group sense of well-being are all part of the fun experience. The typology is relational, individual. We emphasize the social in our uh, fun work. Well, as we went out looking for fun, fun was very hard to find. It was elusive. Very much so. We searched the storefronts, we walked the streets, we followed the cards, and it was nowhere to be found. It wasn't there, Ty! It wasn't there! It was actually becoming radioactive. We were losing our self-esteem, our sense of purpose, and we just didn't know what to do, except maybe we should stage our fun. Let's have some fun! So, what I did, I took it upon myself and the group. I said, we are going to stage an event, and we're going to have a race. So we find Philadelphia Running Store, expert staff of runners. I walk in. I said, I need to try on a pair of shoes. I need to race someone down the street, and you gave me a T-shirt to do it. Now, as you can see, I'm 260 pounds of twisted steel and sex appeal. <laughs> I'm built for power, not for speed. Where my opponent is like 37 pounds. And she dutifully kicked my ass up and down the road. I may have lost the competition with her. But we staged an event where people came out of the woodworks they surrounded us. They started cheering. This man right here wanted to be part of us so badly, he comes down from his office and says, let's go over to my bar and have a drink. <laughs> so we go to his crappy little happy cock. Was it happy cock? It was a happy cock. Yeah, it was a happy cock. Happy and, and really, the moral of the story, there was a lot of cocks at the bar, and it wasn't much fun, except the fun was us sharing the story that we just experienced. We took a risk, and we had some fun. Now, we drew the queen. We had to ask somebody, where's fun? Tell us where fun is. And Rocky's son, wasn't it wasn't there. But Rocky's son, I like to call him Bullwinkle, and he wouldn't let me toss the piece of dough in the air. He said he'd get fired. He told us to go down to uh, what square? Rittenhouse. Rittenhouse Square. And when we got to Rittenhouse Square, where the park is, what do we find? We found a hopscotch. Now, kids love hopscotch. Let's be a kid. Let's have some fun. Well, what we found out, that our hopscotch stage wasn't quite big enough. We stole some kid's hopscotch stage. We couldn't get anybody to do hopscotch. So, we bought some chalk and we created our own stage. We moved the stage from stage left, or that would be stage right, no, that is stage right, <laughs> to center stage. And we drew this big, enormous hopscotch. First, before we were even done drawing it, the kids were already interacting. <laughs> and then we had to prime the pump. We had to prime the pump. We had to get them involved. We had to get the adults involved. And then Matt, who's no longer with us, we lost him. he had to fly home. <laughs> he was priming the pump. Everybody had a distinct role. And as you can see through these photographs, it starts with a few pictures. And as you can see, our stage gets more elaborate. The kids start, then the mother with the kid, then the mother following the kid. And they're all starting to enjoy and be happy and have fun. Well, it doesn't stop there. We start an antagonizing passerby. <laughs> You've got to do hopscotch. And I, I challenge anyone in the crowd that if they were to come up on the stage and do hopscotch right now, that they won't leave with a smile on their face. 
No takers. Okay. I'd like to mo observe a moment of silence. <laughs> step was to get the suits. Us in the room, we convinced us to have some fun. Just imagine if we had this passion and took this idea and applied it to our business, we could do something that we give away for free, which is fun, and maybe charge for it. But then, I've jumped ahead. Then, she was searching for validation. She walked up to that hot scotch. She says, I own this hot scotch. I can still do this, and I'm going to have fun. And this was the observer. He didn't participate, except to heckle the people. Says, get your ass in there. You look stupid. And he had a blast. But at the end, you drop your hat, and what was free, we were able to charge a fee. <laughs>